This is the second full node benchmark test that I've created today. The first one was a baseline doing one transaction per second. And in doing a little further analysis, it looks like I was actually doing about two, tra uh, two seconds per transaction. Um, yeah, because there's a delay. There's the artificial delay I was introducing, which was one second. And then there's a delay of um, the, the processing time. So I've updated uh, the test to show the time for each transaction takes. I'm going to do a second test using this second wallet that I have prepared. It has uh, 300 addresses or 300 UTXOs in it. So it's the exact same test I just uh, I ran before. Um, but this time I have changed the time between transactions from a thousand milliseconds or one second to, um, oh, I was going to change it to 200 milliseconds. So five per second. Um, still doing 300 addresses. And uh, um, it's also going to report the time uh, each transaction takes to process. And then at the end of the test, it will average all those times for all the 300 different sends to give an average time per transaction. So it's going to be at least 200 milliseconds plus whatever extra processing time it takes for the various subcomponents uh, to talk to one another. So let's do a quick check in with the stats. I just ref I'll just refresh these while the video is running. So here is the rest droplet. It's two gigabytes, one one uh, CPU. It's basically running at idle. A uh, little spike right here in CPU usage. So we'll have to take that into consideration when I'm looking at the graphs. Uh, here is the full node. Um, I shut it down and I upgraded it to version 0 0.20.10, uh, the latest version uh, for ABC. And so that's what this blip here is in the memory where it drops down. So I restarted it. Um, CPU usage did not change sig at all, like significantly. Um, the memory usage has gone down because I've effectively rebooted the full node. And uh, let's look and see what... So this is rest, this is glances on rest. That's the... That's This screen is the A rest API requests coming into the, the rest app. This is glances running on that node showing that we're using about 25% of the memory. Um, or about 500 megabytes. The CPU is idling at around 4%. This is the full node. We're looking at the debug log. Nothing really going on. Um, so the full node's currently running at about 15, 10 to 15%, and a little bit less than 25% of its memory, or about 903 megabytes. Um, Bitcoin D is using about. 15% of the CPU, 10 to 15% of the CPU. It's the only thing really running. Um, let's look at Blockbook. Uh, again, I shut Blockbook down and then restarted it. So that's this blip in the memory profile here. Uh, this is this memory, this 50% or what is that memory? 55% is where it is normally steady state. So this will slowly climb up. Um, and uh, let's see. So that's the graph. If we look at glances, there's the log coming through. If we look at glances, we can see that it's at about 24% memory usage, which is about two, two gigabytes. This is a eight gigabyte, uh, four CPU machine droplet. Uh, okay, the CPU is almost pretty use is negligible. Um, it's just sitting there, staying synced up to the network. Okay, so that's the state of the subcomponents. 
and so just to go back to the benchmark test that's the subcomponents that we just looked at SLPDB is not a factor in this so okay I'm gonna run the test and again we are going to oh and then I captured this data in the last video but the daily average uh, transactions on the main net Bitcoin cash network is 52,000 a day average over the last seven days that's important because it skews results <clears throat> um, okay then run run node test in ut full node 300b okay so we're set and here we go calculating the addresses, the 300 addresses that it's going to spend. Okay, so it looks like it's taking about 700 milliseconds per transaction, and that's with a delay, an artificial delay of 200 milliseconds. So the difference there, we'll get a nice average. So it's probably about 500 milliseconds of processing time just for all the components of the cache stack to talk to one another. And there we can see the requests coming in. Again, there's, uh, just to review, there are four API requests per transaction. One of those is to Blockbook, two of those is one or no two of them are to block book and two of them are to the full node same test as I ran in the previous video so let's see there's the rest API this is running at about 10 percent although it's saying that the apps only using about half that five percent the full node this spiked up to, well, no, I, I think it was between 10 and 15 percent before. So even with 750 milliseconds per tran between transactions, this is still um, not, the full node's still not really showing any appreciable difference. And block book is also not showing any appreciable difference. Uh, glances is using more CPU power than than the than Blockbook is. Uh, the memory spiked up there for a minute. Uh, it keeps going between zero and eighteen percent. So it's doing something, probably moving moving data from the database on disk to memory be, as it serves it, probably. But yeah, this is really encouraging to see that Blockbook. I was expecting a little more CPU usage. Um, here's the full note again. Um, still not showing. Okay, it's over. Uh, oh no, that no, it's still going, still going. Okay, still going. And yeah, the full note's just really not affected at all by this. So this is this is you know before I was trying to do one transaction per second and I ended up getting closer to two transactions per second now I'm doing less than one transaction per second I'm doing about 750 millis uh, milliseconds per transaction and the full node still not um, still not happening I'm gonna try and lower the 200 millisecond artificial delay uh, in fact I'll probably just take it out to zero and run the next test which is 3,000 transactions um, and that's about all I think I can do that's a, the hardest I can push this full node with this current system with just one wallet and one rest app I'd have to start to go in parallel to get this transaction time down okay 
So yeah, almost 700 on the dot uh, as an average across 300 transactions. So this is with the 200 millisecond, uh, 200 millisecond artificial limit. So it's actually taking 500 milliseconds per transaction. Okay, I will make notes of that.